Good morning and welcome to Outdoor Travel. We are talking all about the RV lifestyle. We have Dave joining us. Morning. Dave, I know it's a lifestyle. It is a thing people want to get into, but they're not really sure how sometimes. Now, yeah. rumor has it, you guys have quite the rental program. We do, we rent motorhomes. We're looking at a big motorhome here. This is a big 34 foot Georgetown, but we rent trailers and motorhomes starting at about 22 feet. Wow. And a lot of people want to inquire about the lifestyle and yeah. what a great way to learn it is to rent one. Yeah. Even just for a three or four day trip to get a feel for what the lifestyle is all about. And on our website, we have all the details about the rentals that we do have okay. and all the rates are there. Do you have to have a special license to rent? No, everything that we rent, you can drive with a regular G license. Well, you would trust me to drive one of these things? <laughs> that is terrifying to me. <laughs> easy to, I, again, the, this is big. It's got a massive bedroom, it's stack, huge. washer, washer, dryer. But the other thing that we're getting a lot of inquiries about, there's a couple of platforms on the internet where you can rent your RV out, um, just like Airbnb or oh. Uber, and a lot of people are sort of inquisitive about that. Yeah. What's interesting, we've had a rental program for 40 years. <laughs> <laughs> people are just a little bit late to the mark, I think. Well, what's good to know is the, the RVs that we do rent ourselves mm -hmm. are owned by individuals. They buy them kind of as a business. Oh, I see. And, yeah, and so we take care of everything we take care of everything right here at the dealership. Check it in, check it out. We do all the cleaning. Oh, that's amazing the yeah. for the owners so they don't have to worry about any of that. They're, you're like a property manager. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like that. And of course, the income helps cover the costs. Yeah. So if customers want to inquire about that, they can call us, email us. We can send them all the information. Again, it's something we've been doing even before we had the internet. So wow. we certainly have the experience. This is so great. I need to come back and check out the bedroom story, Luke. I know you already went back there, but I need to go look because this hmm. space is so big. I mean, how many people does it sleep, Dave? So this could sleep comfortably up to six. Six um, people? We have motorhomes on the rental fleet that could sleep and accommodate up to eight a in transit. You have dryer. to have, of course, a seatbelt on board oh, yes, for of everybody course. traveling. You have to think about that. And this is a great, yeah, stocked washer dryer. Again, this is something that someone's a little more committed to travel, but. That is so smart though. I mean, you don't have to wash your clothes in the lake. <laughs> Not that I've ever done that before. Um, the bathroom is big, it's spacious. You could fit so many, like I'm just thinking kids, like moving around and running around and such a smart way to travel. You have everything at your fingertips. True. Yeah. And this is a great weekend for customers to come out. This is our annual open house. Oh yes. Starts tomorrow, right through Sunday, with incredible savings. Um, some trailers we'll look at soon. Uh, we've got, uh, you get to save half the HST. Wow. we got the barbecue going nice. all weekend, so it's a great weekend to come down and right. explore. Everything's on display. We're looking at some stuff today, mm -hmm. but uh, right. it's everything's open and uh, priced. All right, well, there you have it. Our tour of outdoor travel continues with more RVs. Lots more coming up on Morning Live. Back here at Outdoor Travel with Dave, and we're talking about what you do if you have a truck and you want to tow something instead of getting into that full RV lifestyle. Lots of options. Yes, and most customers, when they're first looking into the lifestyle, are looking at tow towables, either mm -hmm. travel trailer or fifth wheel. Okay. And the question is, what do I need for a tow vehicle? Yeah. And everyone's heard the phrase, don't put the cart before the horse, yeah. but in this case, you want to have a good look at the cart, yeah. figure out what size works for you before you look at what size of horse you're going to need. That's true. This is a small trailer. This is a single axle trailer. Okay. Um, it's about 18 feet, but it's amazing how much room there is in there. And the, you've got two bunk rooms in the back and oh, then yeah. seating on the side here. And at the front, that's actually a Murphy bed that comes down. Oh, that's so and cool. And the sofa drops down. So you're you're sleeping a family of four very comfortably. That's amazing. It's something around 4,000 pounds. I feel like so, this is kind of like bougie camping. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's not a tent, it's better than a tent, but it's still not extreme as, you know, driving it yourself. Four season two, this trail is actually rated for minus 10 degrees Celsius. People want to travel in cold, oh, wow. cold temperatures. So the travel trailers, they kind of start in what we call a minivan, total mm -hmm. range, something well under 3,500 pounds. Oh, wow. And then we step up into usually the mid-range SUVs in that 6,000 pound range. Okay, and that's when you get into these types, right? Well, what we're going into here is a fifth wheel. Once we go 
bigger than that 6,000 pound range, you typically get into the large SUVs or a pickup truck. Okay. And if you are toying with a pickup truck, then a fifth wheel is an option. And fifth wheel, as you can see, there's a lot more height in here. Mm -hmm. they're, they're taller. It's big. More spacious. So this is when you could very comfortably tow with a half ton truck. Yeah. And it, 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 it could sleep up to six, but we've got big fifth wheels that could accommodate a family of eight or nine quite comfortably. Comfortably. Now, now, what about electric vehicles? Because a lot of people are purchasing those these days. We do, and we get a lot of inquiries. Most electric v v vehicles, the cars are in that two or three thousand pound range, mm -hmm. so you're fairly limited. But they do have some of the bigger SUVs mm -hmm. that do get into the five or six thousand pounds. And there's even a, a electric pickup truck on the market now that could yeah. tow ten thousand pounds. Oh wow! So yeah. you could get a big fifth. Fifth wheel, five wheel, fifth wheel, <laughs> fifth wheel. I'm getting my RVs confused. Uh, so spacious, will sleep comfortably, family of four. You can even get them bigger than that. Oh yeah. Okay, big and this goal. weekend, you guys have a big sale. Big sale on this exciting, our annual open house. Okay. Starting tomorrow, tremendous savings. We've got up to $5,000 in free add-on accessories for some of the last 2023s. Wow. Uh, save the HST on the 2023 towables. And we got the barbecue going on all That's weekend. Awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. Great weekend to come down and have a look. And just if you're, if you know, you want to tip your tip your toe into the industry and see kind of what it's like for you. Come on down, check it out, uh, all weekend long, running until Sunday. Lots more to discover here at Outdoor Travel. Okay, Dave, this looks a little bit more my speed. Like I think I can handle driving this as opposed to the big RV or even the tow trailer. It kind of scares me a little bit. Uh, this is like a beginner stage, I guess. Well, this is certainly small. Mm -hmm. This is what's called a Class B mo motorhome okay. versus a Class C e or a Class A motorhome. Very compact. This, this has the pop top roof, so it could sleep up to four. Wow. But for someone wanting to um, just the, the weekend getaways, yeah. it's, it, and it's got all the amenities of any RV. Well, it's bigger than a tent. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way I look at it. So we get a lot of customers looking at RVs focused on that two, three week trip, month trip. But mm -hmm. what happens is quite often when customers own the RV, they realize how much more they can use it. Yeah. Uh, you know, if the kids are into sporting, you can go to- Oh, um, their tournaments and turn everything. Yeah, oh, that's so smart. Uh, family reunions, uh, fall festivals. And a lot of folks look at that we can get away. Yeah. And we, we've got the Ontario Campground Directory that you can pick up here at the dealership. Mm -hmm. But whether, you know, the old fallback is to go to Niagara Falls, there's beautiful campgrounds yeah. down there. Yeah. Um, Tobermory, uh, Eastern Ontario, Western Ontario. Yeah. There's lots of neat places to go. A lot of customers call them one tank trips. And, yeah. Um, they, 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 they've got, you can go online. This is oh one my tank gosh, trip. This is and one they, tank they spell trip. it out so Oh, that's Ontario. amazing. So, the industry uh, website, just mm -hmm. a general information website, is GoRVing.ca. Yep. They have those examples and some other neat ideas for short trips. Okay. Um, so this is a real popular travel trailer to look at here. And in the showroom like this, this might look big, but this is actually about 26 feet. Oh, it's adorable. It's a great little trailer, very it's functional floor It's super cute plan. in here. <laughs> so when folks end up looking and buying something kind of for the first time, this is typically the size. You've got what we call double over double bunks. You've got double beds here. You've got a dinette. You've got the sofa, private bedroom. And this is completely self-contained too. So if you're going away for that weekend, you're not even staying at a campground. It's got the solar panel system oh, built into the roof. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, I really like this one. Now, Dave, you're making it hard for me to decide what RV I belong in. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good news is we've got them all. <laughs> We've got them all and a big sale this weekend. You got to come down. You've got like DJs playing music here and everything, don't you? We do. We have uh, Rock and Ray Michaels here tomorrow afternoon. That's and, awesome. Uh, other stations on site. We got the barbecue going all weekend. We're going to have a lot of fun. Come and it's down, just a great snack. weekend to come down and investigate and learn about the lifestyle. Yeah, because it really is something to be had. That's for sure. I mean, I'm so intrigued by it. Just the fact that, you know, you can sleep on the go. <laughs> That's what I like best. Okay, so much more coming up at Outdoor Travel. Don't go anywhere. Okay, Dave, you've outdone yourself. I just got a sneak peek of the inside of this one and it actually has an upstairs. This is incredible. What is this? So this is a toy hauler. A toy hauler. Albeit a big one. <laughs> what it, it, it has a garage in the back if folks want to bring motorcycles or ATVs or golf carts. So it's exactly what it sounds like. It's to bring a, all your toys. A toy, a toy hauler. That's amazing. So we'll take a peek inside. 
but it actually incorporates a lot of the new technologies that we have in the industry. Okay. And a lot of these new technologies revolve around having the flexibility of use the motorhome without being hooked up at a campground. Wow. And a toy hauler, especially one this big, is typically that folks are gonna go to racing events. Yeah. Or, or somewhere way out in the middle of nowhere. This is like and Formula not have One. Hookup. <laughs> yeah. So this, this is has super cool. a massive amount of solar panel. Um, it's got an inverter built into it, which gives you electricity from your batteries. Mm -hmm. uh, a new generator on the market that we have in all of our Forest River motorhomes too, mm -hmm. which uses inverter technology. But one, one cool thing it has is a pull start so that you could never ever get stranded. It you has could, a pull start? <laughs> you could start it like a lawnmower. I was just about to say, like a lawnmower. It just gives you that extra level of peace of mind. Yeah, totally. Of when you're traveling. Oh so, my gosh. Again, th this is 42 feet. You can see you got all kinds of living space here. This is amazing. You've got a garage and the, the back uh, ramp that yeah. would get you into the garage, you can set up like that and use it as a patio. So it's a place for the dog to run around. Or yeah, yeah, anyone, kids. <laughs> anyone to run you around. Can see how big the garage is here. Oh my God, this is the garage. Now, can people sleep in the garage? I guess they oh, yeah. can if they There's wanted to. There's a bed to. up here that comes down these sofas. Oh yeah, of course there is. There's they a bed up here. <laughs> They've typically got an extra powder room back here too. Of course they do. They is, thought of everything. Which is handy. There's mm -hmm. like a full patio. This is amazing. So the toy haulers we sell, they start actually quite small at around 22 feet. Wow. This is really remarkable. Now I didn't even look to see. So when you're driving this on the truck, like when you're driving with this, are you the same size as like a transport truck or are you bigger? Smaller this, than a this, transport this is truck. what I'm like trying to visualize in my head, right? That I'm sure many viewers are wondering because they can see it like on TV, but you don't know the actual scope of these until you come and check them out for yourself. And this weekend is such a great opportunity to do that. Oh my gosh, the bedroom is gorgeous. <laughs> this is amazing in here. Absolutely stunning. So much room, so spacious. Quick details on the sale this weekend, Dave. So starting tomorrow, the sale is right through the weekend, right through Sunday. We got the barbecue going all weekend. Everything's on sale. We got massive discounts on everything. On top of that, all of our 2023 travel trailers, you save half the HST. Amazing. And on the motorhomes, up to $5,000 in add-ons and accessories. Our biggest sale of the year. So Amazing. what an opportunity. To come, one, learn about the lifestyle, but if you're yeah. ready to buy, it's a great time. All right, thanks so Fantastic. much, Dave, for having us. I really appreciate you guys coming. All right, let's get ready to hit the road. Come on down and check out the sale this weekend.